Hey, hello YouTube boys and ladies, Sanction here, and today we're going to talk about the Roland TR-999 drum machine, or more specifically, three different VST recreations of that drum machine. So I've created a little pattern here, um, and we're going to listen to the same pattern played on all three VSTs, um, and the sounds are pretty much just out of the box, flat 909, what they think is their flat 909. And the first one we're going to listen to is D16's Drummers On which is a plugin I've used for quite a number of years and I mainly like it but um, here we go, here's the pattern in D16's Drummers On There we go, so far, so 909 And the next one we listen to is Audio Realism's ADM. So again, same pattern, pretty much flat out the box as a 909. I did tweak the level on the hi-hats and the ride cymbal, just because they seem really loud um, on the blank preset, but here we go. So slightly different, but still recognizable as a 909, I think. And the last one we listen to is the Roland Cloud TR-909, which just came out um, last month. And here we go, same pattern again, straight flat out of the box, no changes to anything. Again, that sounds slightly different, but still very recognizable as a 999. I think, obviously, the Roland one is closer to the real hardware. I don't have a real hardware 999 here to A, B against, but to my ears, that sounds pretty close to the real thing. Um, the first thing I think to notice is how they handle the ride. The tuning is very different on each one of them. Now, if we take the 999 as being as close to the original as possible, which you would hope is the case. Um, ADM's a little bit lower. Again, the drummers on one's slightly lower. But the good thing is, we can tweak those, so... And uh, let's get to the ride on the drummers on. And we think it's maybe a little bit lower. And we're going to... Uh, we want to go higher, obviously, there. There we go. We're pretty much on the same pitch there. The level's slightly different, but again, we can tweak levels. It's not a problem. Um, one thing that they do uh, slightly differently, each one of them, um, D16 drummers on and the Roland Cloud do it in a similar way, but slightly differently, is on a real 909, you have your snare and you have your clap. But when you play them both together, the clap phases. Now, the D16, have a snare, have a clap, and when you play them together the clap phases, but because the pitches are slightly different, the phase sounds slightly different as well. But again we've talked about how you can tweak those. The Audio Realism Medium does it in a different way. You have your clap, uh, sorry, your snare, and you have your clap, and you'll notice the clap phases all the time. But it does also phase extra when you play the snare and the clap together. Um, so that's something to think about there. There's no way to seemingly turn that phase off on any of the plugins, which isn't ideal. I would ideally want to be able to play the clap and the snare together without that phasing. So what I tend to do is get my pattern and then bounce down the kick, then bounce down the snare, bounce down the hats, blah, 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 blah. Um, to my ears, like I say, the, the Roland one sounds as close as you're going to get, I think. Um, the snare on... The audio realism one is 
slightly dirtier than you would like, but it's closer to the 909 than the, the D16 one is. The D16 stands very clean, um, which I quite like about it. On the actual Roland one, you'll notice this. There's a sort of almost like Tom quality underneath the snare. If we turn the tone all the way down so it's not doing any of the, the high stuff. Hear that? That tone is always underneath the snare. There doesn't seem to be any way of turning that off. Um, and once you hear it, you can't you can't really unhear it. The D16 seems to have got rid of that somehow. Um, I assume because it's sample based. They've done some EQing before it goes into their box. And the audio realism does have that tone underneath it as well. Um, here we go to the snare, turn the snap off. Yeah, see, they, they've emulated that quite well. Um, but their snare does sound a little bit dirtier than the Roland one. I think the takeaway is none of them are perfect. Um, if you want the one that's closest to the hardware, Roland Cloud is the way to go, but then that is the most expensive. Um, I think the D16 is a good all-rounder, and the Audio Realism for me fits somewhere in between. Um, but yeah, there we go. Let me know what you think, and until next time, see ya.